<laughs> okay, so slump over. <laughs> okay, I'm not videoing me now. I'm not videoing you now, so just tell me the story. Okay, when I was in New York in the wintertime this year, okay, it's probably my third stint going over to New York and trying to get my foot in the door. And it seems like, you know, every single time where I feel like I'm close, I mean, I go to New York and I spend, what, thousands of dollars, you know, just to fly there? And it's ridiculous, you know, so just this past winter, I went around to galleries like where I was working in Soho, and it's, I brought just a few slides with me, and I brought, you know, just, I brought slides with me, I brought, you know, my pictures and things with me, and I have a small little list of a resume, you know, that I'm very proud of, that I had, you know, shown here in uh, Oklahoma, I had three shows, you know, with other artists, so I thought that was pretty fantastic. So when I was over in looking around, walking around to the different galleries that have very upscale art. You know, I, I didn't discriminate. I went into all of them. So I went in and I just wanted to speak to somebody there and just show them my pieces and show them my, my slides and they wouldn't even give me the time of day. <laughs> they just kind of looked at me like I was crazy. Like I just walked off the streets like, you know, and here I am. And, all and you I did and, and you were, but I mean, them. that's real, isn't it? You walk into a space and you say, hey, hey. I've got this to show, you know? And, and what's wrong with that? You know, like I don't have a big rest. Like, for artists who are emerging, the whole point of being an emerging artist is that you don't have a list. You don't have like any experience. You don't and have you everything. you're trying that... to get yourself shown out there uh, even if it's a small show and you're, you're going to exhibit with other artists that's fine if they give you even a small little corner in the room that's fine as long as you have like a space to show one of your pieces and i'm not asking for a one woman show because i'm just beginning but i tr you know sort of tramped around you know new york city and went to different galleries walked in introduced myself like a lady and pulled out you know whatever it is i had and not one of those people, I mean, some of them just looked at me and just shrugged and looked at the girls that I had. And, and just, she has thousands of, word, thousands of, this anything. woman has thousands, thousands. of people, of, of drawings <laughs> and comics and art Everything. and these fabulous designs and all these like amazing, amazing intricate pieces. Right. Yeah, and you know, it's okay, go on about, it's bullshit. It is bullshit, because yeah. even here in Oklahoma, I went to a few main site gallery, I went to a uh, untitled, beautiful space, walked in, met the lady, and there was a guy behind who was my age. The problem was it was the guy, beautiful. The guy said, oh <laughs> my God, beautiful. these are girls, these girls are beautiful. Oh, there we go. He said they're sex and color, I love it. And the woman who's the director of this gallery, the untitled gallery in Oklahoma, she said, why don't you leave your slides with me? Oh, forget it. I said, no, no, I don't think so. You know, like, no. I don't know what she does. She could be an artist herself, you know? Who Wait. knows? But the point is, is just to put your foot in the door and just, it's like somebody trying to hear you. You know, people don't hear you. They, they listen, but they're not really hearing what you're about or what you're saying because there are so many distractions like a pretty girl. They never listen to a pretty girl, right? They just talk at her. They just want to take her out. She's just for show. It's the same thing when you have art. And if you have, you know, a specific style of art, you know, that's unusual, I would think that they would be welcoming you and saying, well, we're, we're in business because of you. And if it wasn't for an artist bringing their works in, I personally think that they would be out of business. They wouldn't be able to have these beautiful spaces all throughout the country. So when she said leave your slides, you got definitely got the feeling that she was like gonna put them in the back room somewhere. Is that was that kind of the feeling she, of it? She, she, yes, they they said she was an artist. One of the girls said that she's a painter too. I mean, well, that's you fine know? that she's a painter, but did you get the feeling that she was not gonna really look at she your work? She wasn't gonna look at it. Yeah, no, she was just being. That's yeah. cordial or, you know, or, or and, and I went to a few other galleries um, here in Oklahoma and the same thing. And the girls I have, they're illustrated, but they're not exactly um, painted. So they wanted a specific way of... It's like everybody they has... They want painting or they want acrylics or they want... They want this specific thing specific. rather than like recognizing that you're an artist and you work in a lot of different ways and you do you do what you do. It's like, it's like okay, we want you to come in pre-formatted to what we're going to sell and that's it. That's the thing that I had in, in, in Santa Fe. Right. All the fucking time. Right. People would go, wow, we love what you do. And then they'd go, we want you in the gallery. 
and then I'd go down there and they'd go oh you know we want you to make this because this is what our tourists buy this is what our, what these people will buy they cater and, and to them. They, yeah and yes. it's like this is we want you know we just want you to actually become a production artist and do these things at these people here we want you to do this rather right. than looking and seeing that there is something going on here it's imaginative it's it's different it has a uniqueness to it and it can actually be a really great benefit to our organization because right. it is something it's different it's what it it is it's not what something you know it's not what something else is it's what it is but people are afraid of taking a chance they're afraid of losing money i guess and also people are just really fucking stodgy